In this episode, we are going to be making spaghetti carbonara. And the very first thing you're gonna do when you're making carbonara is you're gonna wanna make sure that you have clean dishes. So I'm gonna be using this scrub daddy to clean this dish. So as you can see, I'm scouring the pan to make sure there is no loose debris anywhere in the pan. That kind of tickles, that's kind of weird. Um, but if you've never had carbonara before, you would know that it is made of bacon and cheese and egg and spaghetti. Despite the fact that there's a box of eggs in the fridge, it is actually empty. So, I have to go to the fridge. <laughs> Sorry, um, that was my shadow self. I actually meant that I had to go to the grocery store and not go to the fridge. Because as you can see, um, this is a fridge. It's egg time. If uh, if you take a look on the left, um, that is called North Table Mountain. Um, it's not a mountain. Um, in fact, it's actually not very tall. That is the factory where Coors is made. I would know because I live here, so that's how I know. That is South Table, if you can see it. I have in fact climbed to the top of that in worse weather than this. And in better weather. Better weather. I, we are at the Golden Safeway. I'm going to be doing a thing called parking. Um, vertically instead of parallel. Parallelly. Um, perpendicular parking. That's that's the correct word. But we are here. So the holy land. I've now acquired four strips of bacon. They are of average thickness. Now I'm going to cut them into strips just lengthwise like so. Um, I used to try to attempt to um, cook them first and then break them up but um, I've just found this method easier. Um, than doing that, uh, mainly because um, just like cooking a whole strip of bacon seemed to take a little bit longer, um, and the, I guess the, the size of, of the pieces were not as consistent. Now that we have finished cutting these bacon pieces to a fairly consistent size, I'm going to take my pan cold um, rather than hot. I have heard I don't know if this is true, um, but I have heard that it helps um, to like render the fat better if you use, um, are heating heating it up from cold instead of just throwing it into a hot pan. Um, I think it has to do with it being seared correctly. As you can see, I didn't get these perfectly cut up, um, but um, it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. Uh, they normally will just like kind of break apart as the fat melts. Um, so I'm gonna put that on the stove. I'm now going to turn the heat up to um, probably like six or seven, just sort of medium, medium high, slightly. Um, and I also have a, uh, a grease guard that I'm gonna put on the bacon. Um, and then while I get that going, I'm gonna go ahead and get a pot of water boiling. Now I just started the water um, on high. I am gonna add just a little bit of salt. I, I don't really measure this, I just sort of eyeball it. Um, for the pasta noodles, um, and then I'm just gonna cover it and let that boil. This pan, this lid is a little too big for that. But uh, the bacon, on the other hand, I'm just gonna stir around here and there um, and just sort of keep an eye on it so it doesn't burn. But in the meantime, I'm gonna shred the cheese and also uh, get the egg ready. Now I'm gonna go ahead and shred some of the cheese. Uh, this is Pecorino Romano. Um, I kind of personally just eyeball this. Um, I probably should measure it. Uh, but this is definitely not a grater, but it makes it really fine. It's like a zester. Um, and my other um, cheese grater is dirty. <laughs> but this this I've used before and it, it turns out um, kind of well. You just want it a little bit more fine just because it is a creamier dish. So that's kind of 
the point of it. So I'll just grate until I think the uh, amount is right. Um, and then I'll go ahead and add the eggs. As you can see, the water is now boiling, so I'm gonna just measure out um, the amount of noodles um, that is about two servings. Um, and then I'll go ahead and add that to the pan. Okay, now I have my pasta, so I'm gonna go ahead and just toss that in the pot. Um, and then just sort of stir it in. Um, just so that it's all covered um, and ready to boil. And I'm not gonna recover this, but um, I will let it just boil uncovered for 14 minutes. The bacon was done cooking, so I went ahead and moved it to a, uh, a little bowl just so that um, there isn't really danger of it getting too black. Um, I don't wanna overcook it too much. Now that we have roughly the amount of cheese I need, uh, I'm gonna add three eggs. Um, I'm only gonna add um, the yolks of two of them though. Here's just the egg yolk. Now that we've added the yolks, I'm gonna go ahead and mix this um, mixture all together um, and see how creamy it gets. That looks pretty good to me. If anything, it needs just a little bit um, more cheese. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I did forget to mention that I did keep the bacon fat when I moved the bacon um, into this bowl. Uh, the bacon fat is useful um, and I'll show you how that works. My noodles are done boiling. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is turn the heat back on um, the bacon grease just a little bit. Um, it doesn't need much. Um, and then I'm going to take tongs I'm gonna use these tongs to go ahead and transfer um, these noodles to the pan with bacon grease. Um, and I'm not really gonna to try to let them drain off. I am gonna try and add a little bit of that water um, into the pan with the bacon grease. And I may just try and add just a tiny bit of water, not overboard with it. Kinda of just mix that all up, try and get that to evaporate a little bit, but also just get a little creamy. And also at this point, I'm gonna go ahead, add the bacon bits back in to the carbonara. And again, just sort of let that, that's, you don't really want there to be like a pool of liquid at the bottom. So just let, let that sit for another second or so. And now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is turn the heat off. Um, and I'm actually gonna remove it from the heat source. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my egg water mixture and just sort of add it to the pan. And kind of scoop it out as much as I can. And you don't want the eggs to like curdle like you would like other dishes. You just sort of want them to stay liquidy. Um, and I'm also gonna add just a little bit of pepper at this point. And then just mix this in. And again, you want to uh, be quick at this state because you don't want the egg to uh, fry up. It's not like fried rice noodles. It's uh, it's carbonara. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in bowls. I plated it up, so just for effect, add a little bit more cheese. A little bit more cracked pepper and it's done so I will consume that